Good morning everybody and welcome back to another busy summer's day at Runswick Bay on the Yorkshire coast. I've come out for a quick fossil hunt and walk today. There's already quite a few people on the beach but I'm just going to take it easy today and have a nice steady walk over that headland towards Kettle Ness. Make sure you keep watching this video to the very end because there's a really good find coming up. So this is the type of seas we've been having over the last few weeks. Really flat seas but we just need that one really nice find to be turned over so we've just spotted this amongst all the boulders and it's a grey shale type of ammonite but unfortunately it's just really far gone so i'm going to leave this and if anyone else wants to split it and have a go and there we go Another one that I've just picked up while walking along the beach. Looks like a bit of coral or sponge of some sort. Not something I'm going to collect. I will just leave it just in case anyone else comes across it. Remember everyone, if you'd like to see more fossil hunting videos in the future on the Yorkshire coast, please hit that subscribe button. And if you've enjoyed the video, remember to give it a like. If any of you guys watch some of my older videos, in fact I think it was my most viewed video at this exact spot a few years ago, there were a huge whale what washed up in summer and because it's a really awkward spot where the tide doesn't get to, it stayed here for months and by the end of summer it was absolutely honking. So it looks like for now we've got this area to ourselves, so we're going to get in and amongst all the boulders and all the pebbles that have been washed up looking to see if the tides turned anything over I know they're really flat tides but you never quite know it just needs that little fossil to be flipped to reveal something good so there's a little fresh landslide here I'm just having a look for any nodule shapes I can't quite see any just yet just really fine bits of shingle Maybe you guys will see something I've missed, but it needs a tide to go over it. It's only a little fall, so it won't take long. So I've just come across this and it's a big bit of sturgeon like fish bone called gyrosteus. Don't really collect this, I've just had some really nice bits cut and polished though. But this one I'm going to be leaving. So I did just collect this and it might be really hard to make out but it is a little bit of bone, fossilised marine reptile bone. There's a lot of minerals running in the middle of it. It's very eroded. I'll probably get it cut and polished just to see what the middles look like. Can you make out the individual paddle digits there? Maybe not. So another bit of bone that I've just picked up, it's actually a rib. You might be able to just make it out. It's really worn and it's running along the edge of the rock there it comes out around there too far gone to be preppable but it is nice to see and I'm gonna leave it here so I've just spotted a rather promising looking ammonite just sat alongside a big larger boulder and the ammonite is there I mean you can see a very faint keel running out there yeah there should be one in there looks like it's already had a bit of a tap there the ammonite is itself. 
a Dactyloceros. And there we go, a little pop with the hammer, off camera. And I have revealed the Dactyloceros ammonite itself, right to the middle. A little bit of the outer world did come off, because it's like in a septarian nodule, what you get from around here, or some type of mineral. But it's not too bad. So here's one my dad just picked up and it does look like there is a few ammonites wearing out of the edge there, maybe little ellies. So we'll see how it splits open. Well, we've got an interesting looking crack, but doesn't seem to have gone right where the ammonites are, but let's have a look. Well, there is a bit of fossilised material there. Just a few very small ones, I mean, maybe that one there. Well, there is better pieces. I've just popped this open, a little bit of an unfortunate split, but there is a Hildi inside, the Hildoceros Ammonite. So you might remember a few videos ago I found a nice bone block at Salt Lake Bay. I've had it back from preparation. Let's take a look at the initial find first of all. So this is what they look like now I've had them cut and polished. So Mark Hawks did the preparation on this. I always send my cut and polished pieces to him. He does a great job. Now this was really soft bone, it couldn't be prepared traditionally, so I had it cut and polished. I was actually quite surprised how many vertebrae there actually was inside the rock. Four or five complete ones. In fact, one, two, three, six on this other side. It's a really nice piece from Saltwick Bay. And it will be heading to the website at some point, so if you like cut and polished marine reptile bone, keep an eye out there, because there'll be a job lot coming up over the next few months. Really interesting pieces. Alright guys, so I'm just making my way back. Rather unproductive day, to be honest. But like I said at the beginning of the video, it only takes one good find to make it worthwhile and I found something really good. So I'm going to manoeuvre closer to it and you can tell me if you would have spotted it. I know it's been in the sea for quite a while but it's a packed bone block. And you can see all of these little black bits are pieces of eroded ichthyosaur bone wearing out. There's a few bones running along, along the edge there, a few ribs on the back and it's essentially a layer of ichthyosaur bones. That's pretty amazing if you ask me and it'll clean up really nice I'm pretty sure. It's a nice black looking bone as well. So probably from the jet rock I'd have thought unless it's that colour because it's been eroding but I'm well pleased with that nice packed bone block from an ichthyosaur.
remember everyone, if you would like to purchase your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please check out my website called buyafossil.com. There's a bunch of variety of all Yorkshire coast fossils available for purchase with shipping to most countries. Please take a look if you are interested. Thank you. So I've just picked up another bone block. Seems to be a day for bone blocks today. Now this one isn't as exciting. It's most likely fish bone, but some of the paws on it look quite interesting. I mean, you don't usually get paws on fish bone that I know, but it's really thin bone, but then also quite big. So I'm going to take it back and maybe have a little play with it. Interesting though. So my dad's found a nodule, it looks pretty good and well worth a hit. So let's do that right now. I don't think he's gonna have a win. Blank. So something some of you guys may find interesting. I've just cracked open this disgusting old nodule. And inside, there's a coprolite. You can see the coprolite or fish poo or maybe ichthyosaur poo in the middle. Always interesting, but we prefer ammonites to be in them. So I've just found this, a nice little grey shale ammonite nodule. You can see the keel eroding out there. It'll be nice and soft to crack open. I'm not going to do it myself. I'm going to put this in the nodule boxes that we sell on the website. Someone will have a good time with that one, I suspect. Hopefully you've all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all on the next one.